G'day, my name is James. Welcome to the channel. I've got something a bit different today. We've got a, a job on site that we're gonna fix a hot water system. I've just finished, but why don't you start at the beginning and see what happens. We're just doing the last job of the day and it's a hot water system that needs a new element. It's a 3.6 kilowatt solar boosted hot water system and the element has burned out. And we're just gonna swap it over and then we're probably gonna install a Shelly switch on here so we can have it turn on via Wi-Fi and do a one-stop timer on it as well. So let's get started. So the power is now turned off and we know that the element wasn't working before I turned it off. I checked the current that was flowing in the element and that was zero and we had voltage at the element. So we know that the element is dead. Now, sometimes these elements will actually blow the fuse and then you will turn the fuse back on and they'll keep working again for a little while. But if this blows the fuse, then it's only a matter of time, maybe days or a week or two before it will blow properly. Uh, you can actually see here, the elements leaking out through the terminals which means it's probably all corroded away and definitely needs replacing this is a stainless steel tank so it won't have an anode and um, you can actually get stainless steel elements although no one ever stocks them uh, but you do have to make sure you get a good quality element otherwise if you get a cheap one from wherever it'll probably only last a few days or weeks so let's get this thing disconnected and we have to make sure we turn the water off of course and then we'll pull it out and put the new one in. Okay, so we're just gonna remove this thermostat, which is just clicked in here like that. So this just measures the temperature. It's got two, and one for safety and one for regulating the temperature to 70 degrees or to whatever you set it on here. And it um, controls the active just through here to turn on the element. And this will probably be okay. Sometimes you do need to replace these, but this one looks all right. So we'll move that out of the way. And so this is our element here. So we can um, just loosen these screws off by hand. And we've got the new one just there, just ready to go in. It's a 3.6 kilowatt, so it'll go in that way. Now these can be a little bit tricky to get in and out, especially when they're deformed, if they're all um, corroded away. Sometimes they're hard to get out of the tank and you just got to basically jam it out. And of course most of the time when the hot water system goes it's on Friday afternoon and you really want to get it up and running so you don't have cold water or weekend although this is a solar so it's not entirely cold it's got a bit of heating going to it but in winter it's not the best okay now I've got the water turned off um, but heaps of water will come out but we're on a roof so it'll just run away See that it's definitely dead. Easy. I prefer the stainless steel tanks, they are much easier to change the element on. So we could probably do it the other way. Okay. Put it that way. 
and you can see it actually sort of holds itself in there even without any screws so this part here is plastic so it doesn't really need to be super tight it just has to be a little bit tighter than finger tight And you have to definitely make sure that the power is isolated at the switchboard for this. You don't want a timer or something automatic coming on while you're in the middle of changing hot water system, hot, hot water system element. Because they don't have RCDs and you'll probably be in a lot of pain or die because it's mains voltage. So definitely not something you should do without any training. And this is not training. This is just for infant, just for you. This is not training this video. Okay. It's all good. We'll put our thermostat back in. And there's no polarity on an element. They're both the same. So we're all done there. Our bolts are done up. I've checked the earth is secure, which it is. And we've reconnected our cables and our element. Everything's nice and tight. So we can turn it on and try it out. All right, so it's all connected. Nothing's leaking. It looks very good. And we've got the 15 amps flowing through the element just there, which means it's working. And we'll just check the voltage. and 240 to earth and nothing to neutral which is exactly what we should get okay so that's it after you change your hot water system you often have to take the little filters out of the taps because some of the debris from the hot water system gets in the pipes and blocks up the filters. So if I just take the little filter out and you'll see a lot of stuff comes through from the hot water system. Especially why it's filling up at the moment and you'll get a lot of dirt and it will gather just here. Sometimes it'll block up the pipes immediately. And once it's filled up the water will flow alright but a lot of dirt comes through in that burst. So I like to do one tap so it all comes out that one tap but it will probably be another tap as well okay that's the end of part one look out for part two when we install a one-shot timer and use the Shelly one to connect it up to Wi-Fi 
and um, so we get full control over the hot water system here. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more, if you want to see the end of the next part of this, please subscribe. If you like enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Catch you next time. Bye.